Good evening and welcome to Socrates in the City. Uh, it is, we finally got there. This is extraordinary. Yes, there, there are many more sentences to come, so, so hold, your, hold your applause, hold your applause. Um, it, I, I have to say it is a, a little bit staggering to see uh, how many of you are here uh, tonight, uh, especially when I happen to know in advance that the uh, quality of the speaker is a little bit subpar. Uh, you, kn you know that uh, tonight's event is not a, it's not a typical uh, Socrates in the City event, right? You, you knew that already. Today actually marks the 65th anniversary of the death of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. So the board of Socrates in the City uh, decided to have a special Socrates event to commemorate the 65th anniversary of the death of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And uh, they realized that a new biography, a staggering uh, and shiny new biography uh, was coming out and they wanted to know if they could get the, the author of that uh, really unbelievable uh, tome uh, to speak. And he's very hard to get. But they were able somehow, if you believe in prayer, I think that's what it was, they just were on their faces and fasting and praying, and they were able to, to get the speaker. Uh, so we have the author uh, of that book is gonna be our, our speaker uh, tonight. Um, but as I say, this is not really, it's not a typical Socrates in the City event. We normally have different kinds of speakers, but you wouldn't know that if this is your first time. So let me ask, if this is your first time at a Socrates in the City event, would you raise your hands? I'm curious to see how many of you look at that. Wow. Now be honest with me, if this is your last time at a Socrates event, yes, I know, I know. These who needs the crowds, right? It's like Coney Island indoors. But, um, okay, but no, if, if you're here for the first time, you probably don't know the kind of the ground rules of Socrates in, in the city, and you probably have some strange rules. Uh, I'm guessing that the, those of you who are newcomers probably didn't know that you're supposed to, uh, you, you're supposed to shave your heads. You knew that, right? You didn't, you didn't know that. Um, but uh, the next time you come, if you wouldn't mind, and I hate to tell people how to live or whatever, but that's just the clubs, they have these old rules. Uh, this is an old club. I think it goes back to a whole, it was like a, a, a lice problem or something in the early days of the club. And so they require you to shave, uh, shave your heads. If you wouldn't mind doing that before you arrive next time we have this at this club. Now, those of you who have um, shaved your heads and are wearing uh, cheap synthetic wigs, uh, which I'm just eyeballing the situation, looks to be most of you, I think. Let me just say on behalf of Socrates and City, thank you for doing that, I appreciate that. We enjoy meeting these clubs, and if that means, you know, shaving our heads and putting on ill-fitting, um, itchy uh, polyester wigs for a couple of hours, uh, that's, uh, it's all in good fun, right? So it's worth, it's worth doing, but if you're new to this thing, you didn't know that. So thanks to those of you who are doing it, and that's a lot of you. Um, 